and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have another Safish OS related topic as you can already see here. Um, it's going to be can we play Android apps or better say games on Safish OS with AD. AD is of course the Android it, yeah, helper to install Android um, apps and, and run them of course on Safish OS because Safish OS is not an Android based system or something. It's an Linux based uh, mobile system or mobile uh, operation system in this case and um, yeah in the end we want to know hey can you play those games then and uh, are they very stuttering or something or are they pretty much okay and um, yeah for that I'm going to try out a couple of different games some of the casual ones so for instance Candy Crush will be uh, played by us we are going to have a, look, a short look at Subway Surfers, Asphalt 8, Airborne and yeah, PUBG in this case, PUBG Mobile, of course. And um, yeah, for that I'm going to use my Sony Xperia 10 Mark III, which is the fastest um, officially supported device for Safish OS in this case. Um, I'm not using Micro G on my main driver, which is this one at the moment. So um, that, for instance, is the reason why I'm not uh, testing um, Asphalt 9 in this case, because that one is really requiring me to install the play services. And uh, the only option to play that in the end is using the Micro G services, whatever, on the Selfish OS uh, phone here. But all of those are fully compatible and can be run if you are using the official version with AD of Selfish OS. Um, yeah, what I'm going to use here at the moment, I'm just having a computer for the big screen here and that will stay that way. Um, in general, I'm using something like Screencast or so to yeah, more or less bring it to the big screen here, but I don't want to have the performance hit there and um, we are trying to get, uh, to get an information about how fast everything is. So the big stuttering performance or maybe at least uh, the problems we might have with the uh, with, uh, connection here and the transfer of the data and stuff like that, we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you only directly my smartphone and there we will play on. And um, yeah, this will just stay at the background and be something to look at if you are just jumping into the, uh, the uh, episode here in this case but we will have a look at the smartphone itself for that and yeah let's start with that okay so all i'm going to do here is i'm going to find a good position to show you everything something like this it should be fine maybe i should go over here yeah something like this and um, yeah, in the end, what you can already see here, I have all the, the different uh, games we are going to try out in this case already installed. And um, yeah, in the end, what did I do to get them? I just got the store here and I got to the Aurora store. Aurora store is more or less the Play Store alternative store because uh, Aurora is giving out less information to Google in this case if you are using that. And um, yeah, in the end, I'm just using this to get all the different games. Come on, here we go. It needs a little bit uh, to initiate a new session there. That might take a little, it depends on uh, how often you're going to go to the store and stuff like that. But after a while, we should see something here. Yeah, and there we are. And uh, you can already see we have a couple of different different Android apps here. And down below at this point, we can, can you see that? Yeah, um, we can select games in this case. And now you can really have a look at the different games which are going to be listed here. And for instance, go for the category one. And here you can just search for whatever you want to play there. For instance, action should give you a couple of different options, which are probably something you want to play in this case. Okay, but I already got them there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with Candy Crush. In this case, Candy Crush Friends. I'm not sure what the exact title is at the moment, but we are going to have a look at that. And um, yeah, 
in the end you already see it's running but what I want to do here to give you a better op better understanding of how fast the, the support is running and stuff like that I'm going to go through to the settings in this case and I'm going to activate the inbuilt frame counter and stuff like that you can easily do that if you are going to go to the developer mode or developer options here you don't even have to activate the developer mode to get that and here is something like the build rate um, yeah, screen option, whatever you want to call that. It's the FPS counter monitors. And there are a couple of different options here and I'm going to go the detailed one. And what you can already see here, we have frame times and we have at the corners there, the FPS counter. So you already can see we have 60 FPS at the moment. Um, this is very important to notice in this case because um, 50 FPS is all the Sony Xperia 10 Mark III can do, or 60, so 60 FPS is all the uh, Sony Xperia 10 Mark III can do, and so we are not going to go over this weight here. That's just because the screen technology used on the smartphone, the hardware device, just can't offer us more FPS. And so if we go, for instance, to this game, we already can see there's a little bit of, of uh, yeah, jumping around, but really nothing special going on. Everything is fine. We have the full power here, and if I go, for instance, to a game in there, let's see that. As you can see, everything is running as it should. And she's giving us, of course, the option to start here with playing. And as you can see, everything is just running as it should be. And yeah, this is more or less expected behavior because we of course have the most casual game that there is, I think, because who hasn't played this? Um, yeah, we can just play maybe one of the levels here. Of course, we have to get rid of the, all the jelly here. I think you all played this before. What is this? Can I do something here? No. Okay, so let's do that. We got all the different red ones and she gives us some kind of a power-up which we can of course come on, use here and there we go more or less the first level completed everything is running fine you can already see it there is nothing that is giving us some kind of a performance hit or a problem or whatever here okay so let's have a look at the next game and um, the next game, of course, I'm just going to shut everything else down just to make sure that we don't have any kind of hits or something in here which shouldn't be there. The next game we are going to play is Subway Surfer in this case. So this one, um, you already see it. I'm going from the yeah, lowest, um, lowest intensive games to the higher intensive games. And as you can already see here, okay, Menu is running just great, no, nothing that really hits the performance here in any kind of way. So um, let's just play a little, jump around. You can see it, there's no kind of, of bigger input lag or something involved here. It really is just doing what I wanted it to do. At least nothing that is not expected for 60 FPS, of course. So as mentioned before, 60 FPS is a the most or the highest one you will get here so don't think that whoa, sorry don't think that you will uh, will get more than that anyway um, sometimes you're of course getting some kind of an advertisement in this case doesn't really matter I'm just going to play again just to make sure that we have two runs or something to think about and of course we can play this in a pretty nice way and even the power-ups and stuff like that which i assume are a little bit harder damn that was really really close to getting hit by that one from the power up really not the nicest way to play here but whatever that's not really a problem of the smartphone itself of course let's jump over something there that worked too yeah I think you can already whoa. <laughs> okay uh, you can already see that everything is working fine here it's a little bit harder to play because I'm of course um, have a little bit of a switch position here because I want to show you everything on the smartphone in a good way but whatever 
In the end, you can already see this is running without any kind of problem. So we are going to close that down and go to the next option here. The next game I want to show you is in this case Asphalt 8. Asphalt 8 in general would require something like uh, the, the Play Store app too, but what we can do is we can just click on try again and play the mini game here. And the mini game, of course, is more or less, I think, a streaming title. I'm not really sure what's happening here because it's really, um, yeah, pretty nicely looking, but we didn't have to download too much for it. But still, it is really a nice one. You can already see it, no problem there. And what we can test out here is, of course, the mini game and everything else here is, of course, um, yeah, using the accelerator, or let to say the, the position, I'm not sure, rotating your smartphone, something like that, you know? Um, and as you can see, really, really smooth gameplay here. Doesn't really make any kind of difference in this case. Again, um, if you want to play more than the mini game, you will have to install Micro G for that. Uh, there's another video on my channel, I'm going to put it somewhere there, to show you that you will have to download that and how to get that, because otherwise you are not going to play the full game in this game. But as you can see, performance-wise, there is not anything to mention here. Pretty much as good as it gets, more or less. And we can, of course, activate everything. The, um, the rotation is really, really nicely transferred there. There's not a lot of lag or something. It's really like it should be pretty, pretty responsive. And everything can be used, including nitro and stuff like that, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I think you already got the cue there. It's really, really nicely and doesn't really make any kind of difference close to as fast as in the in the menu here. Not exactly the same uh, performance, but very, very close. You can see here there is no frame stuttering at all. But um, if we are going to go to Pub, uh, PUBG in this case now, let's have a look at that. Of course, you have to download a lot of different data for that. I already did that and um, just if you don't do that, we really have to wait a lot. And I didn't want you to wait a lot for this uh, and just stare at the screen or something. So I just got everything. I could even do the in-game update and stuff like that. That was fine too. And as you can see, we will have to wait a little because the game is loaded by itself. We have the right soundtrack playing in the background. Everything is more or less smooth running at the moment as you can see a little bit of, of frame times there but really nothing to, to write home about we have 60 fps easily in this game too no flickering or something there as you can see the number just stays as it should be sounds like it's a pretty nice one too so let's see there we go loading screen again this is something you have to get uh, get used to in this game because it's really a, a mobile game. Those are of course a little bit less demanding than everything else, okay. We are in the main menu in this case and we would have to go through this now. I'm just trying to... get through this for the game itself. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and I'm not I'm going to bother with this. Okay, we have to give it a name. Where's the name? Probably down there, okay. So, name is in this case Fuhur CG, as always. And there we go. I'm not going to, to bother more than that with this. You already can see we have a little bit of a, of a um, impact here now. So 60 FPS is easily uh, uh, created here too, that's fine. But now we have a couple of different frame starters, but that's normal in the uh, case, in this case in general, because um, he's loading stuff and so on and so forth in the background. It's not really noticeable for me. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just start something so we can have a look at the in-game performance here. Here's matchmaking, of course. It might take a little. There we go. It's more or less a training game or something like that we are going to play here. I'm not going to play, of course, to win in this case. Fun thing, there are a couple of different games where that is more or less uh, yeah, the rules that you are playing to win. I'm not sure why, but whatever. You can move freely on Spawn Island while you wait to board the plane. Okay, cool. So, in the end, we can now run around. As you can see, no problem at all. We can hit something and they now put us into the plane because we are playing the real game at the moment against other people. And there are a couple of different people that are going to join in here. But as you already can see, I can really turn around freely here. Just have a look at the um, plane in this case. And yeah, 62 FPS at the moment. So let's see what we can do here. Just turn around. I'm not even sure what I... Can I do something at the moment? I'm not sure. Just watching him or her jumping down with her parachute in this case. So, as you can see, no bigger frame problems here. 60 FPS easily taken and we are able to turn around and see what is going on here. Okay, so hopefully we are close to landing because I want to show you the real game in the end. Or in the end, it's of course already the real game, but I want to show you what is going on here. Sometimes I have to have a look at the camera because I saw that there is a big um, glare on the screen, but I think now it's gone. Maybe we don't want to run into that. Hello? No! directly into some kind of a tree but really doesn't matter as it seems okay so here we are and we can of course hit somebody one around be a good thing to have something to shoot with right so let's see if we can find something here do i have to press it no where do i have to go here Give me something I can work with, please. Ah, uh, what is this? Okay, we've got some kind of a backpack. Now, let's see what we have here. Okay, there is something we can take with us. And we now have something to shoot with. Works great. If you have a look at the frame timer, everything is really, really looking as it should. And now, Let's see what we can find here, if we can find something, because I'm not even sure what I'm searching for at the moment. I, I didn't play PUBG by myself till now, but I'm pretty sure that those are my teammates, there's four and three in this case available there. And from the, uh, the frame times here, I would say I can play this very, very easily. But we will see what happens in some kind of a kill situation where we are going to fight against other people. I can switch uh, different weapons there, that's fine too. And we are just running and seeing what's going on here. Probably I'm going to die if I'm going to hit... Uh, to... Oh! Okay, so Warzone or something has, has begun. And somebody is already fighting against somebody else. I'm not really sure what's happening. There was some kind of a little bit of a lag. Probably something from a... Um, from the loading that happened there. Dynamic loading, of course, a big thing in, in uh, mobile games where they are just loading stuff. And... Supplies. Cool. Where? <laughs> Tell me. I'm not sure where I have to go. Probably to to fall in this case, but we will see. 
So let's go and try to find her there. As you can see, of course, this is going to be my, my fighting button here in this case. And hopefully, I'm going to find her now. Problem is, I'm not even sure if I have to shoot the four or something. Or if there's another team or something that is going to be fought by me. But it really doesn't matter. I just want to show you everything that's working out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Just give me a couple of seconds. I'm trying to get to you. Duty is, is killing somebody there. What are you doing here? Can you drive around or something? Okay, guy. Could you please get into the car? Yeah, you have to press a button to get in. I didn't play this game for any kind of uh, time till now, but I still know what's going on. Okay, so as you can see, we are driving now with another player here. No problem at the moment at all. And I will have to have... Yeah, shooting. It's a nice thing if we don't know where to go. What do we have to do here? I'm, I'm not really sure. Shouldn't there be something we can shoot at? Do I have to go? Uh, maybe I have to go to the 30 seconds. Hmm. Let's see if we can find somebody. If we can't, we are just leaving this game. I think you already see that everything... 10 seconds. I'm not sure where we have to go. I need attachments. Yeah, I need... I need attachments. Yeah, take them. Maybe it's over there, I'm not really sure. What's this? Are you fighting against somebody or what is going on here? I'm just going to leave the... There we go. Just going to leave the... Car there. Yeah, as you already can see, I didn't play this game before. And I'm pretty sure we are the only two people which are still alive. No, a third person is still alive too. But I'm not really sure where to go here. Um, so in the end, I think you already can see Everything is working pretty fine here. I can fight against people. And if I'm going to die here, which is very probably the case. Um, okay, I can... What was this? Can I do something there? Another guy was killed. Okay, four wasn't the right decision to go for. Ooh, there, something is closer now. Somebody going to come there? Okay, no, probably not. Sorry for, for not giving you the full experience here, but you can already see 
performance pretty much as it should be. We can play this without any kind of problems. We have 60 FPS here with a yeah, third person shooter in this case. And um, yeah, I would say this already tells you a lot about how fast the, the AD um, is. So I mean, dealt with how fast it is, how much you are going to suffer from playing on a um, non-Android device. I would say not much in the end and there's no bigger problem. Um, other than that, I would say this is the end of the episode. So thanks for listening, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up, of course. Um, if you didn't subscribe to now, the button is down below. If you want to have any kind of other content, other games tested, or just talk about something, put it down below into the commentary section. And other than that, thanks for watching. See you around and till the next episode. Bye. Bye.